Today we're going to create a comparative line graph or a multi-line graph using Excel. As you can see, we've provided you with the data that's already in an Excel um, spreadsheet. We are going to use a first column, which is actually going to be our X axis or our horizontal axis. And we're actually going to plot these last two columns. The first column indicates the number of days which coral can survive at a particular temperature. So at 27.5 degrees, this particular coral at Square Rocks can survive for 56.6 days. The next column shows us the actual days during summer 2021-2022 that the reef experienced the water temperature or the sea surface temperatures at 27.5 degrees and it was at 34 degrees. So that means it didn't reach the number of threshold days at that temperature, which would compromise the health of the reef, which would push the zoos and sally out of the corals and therefore start the bleaching process. So when our threshold days are larger than our actual days, we have a relatively healthy reef. When our actual days exceed our threshold days, that's when we start the process of the zoos and thalli being expelled and start the bleaching process. So that's an indication that our reef is not very healthy. Okay, so let's have a look at how we create this comparative line graph. Because we are going to graph these last two columns, we click and highlight both of the columns, including the headers, all the way to the bottom of the data. We go up to insert and we're going to click on the down arrow beside these insert line or area chart and this time we are going to choose a comparative line graph which gives us dots on each of the dot points that we're plotting. It just makes it easier for us to read. So you can see here it's already given us a legend. So the blue line is our threshold days, the orange line is our actual days. But there are a few things we need to change. And as I said, the horizontal um, axis or the X axis is the first thing that we need to change. And it needs to replicate all of these temperatures up in our first column. To do that, we right click on the graph and we go select data. We can see one, two, three, four, five, which is all of the numbers that we've got on our X axis down here. And we're going to edit them. So you can see that they're all ticked, click edit and it gives us an axis label range to choose from. So we're going, now going to click and drag all of the data, not including the title, in column one. <clears throat> click OK. And we've already got our legend created over here. So we press OK again. And here we have all of the temperature range provided. So that looks great. I'm just going to stretch, stretch it out a little bit to make it easier to read, but it's, not super easy to read. So there are some difficulties that we're having. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this axis in terms of how we see it. So if I go into right click and I go format axis, we can see we've got lots of options here. So one of the options is that I want to put my axis on tick marks and then I want to choose tick marks and I want to put tick marks outside for the major ones only. So what we can see happening then is that on each of our temperatures, we actually have a line. Now, we can also modify our graph a little bit more to make it easier for us to read. And we can right click on our chart title. We can go into format chart area. And again, it gives us some options. So I can go in here and make some changes. However, we'll find it's easier to go in, see that when we click on it, that plus sign comes out. Now, if your plus sign doesn't come up in here, you can always go up to design and over here to add chart element and it gives you the same options. So I've clicked on the plus and I want to now create grid lines. 
Now I've done the horizontal grid lines, but now it allows me to do also vertical grid lines. So I've ticked both of those boxes. Now you can see it's a lot easier for us to read the information. However, we're still missing information. We don't have our axes titles. So we're going to add those. Click on our graph again, get the plus sign up, choose axes titles. And we have two axes titles here. So the first one is number of days, N-O, full stop, number of, and capital D for days. And then over here, we have capital T, temperature, space, open brackets, because this is how we put a unit of measurement in. To get a degree sign, we go control shift plus and put an O in there. Then control shift plus and it brings it back down to normal and put a capital C in. So the control shift plus acts as a toggle to put you into superscript and then to bring you back down into normal type again. Okay, so you've now got two axes labels. You've got your legend and you've got a grid that makes it relatively easy to read your graph. Now, of course, we are going to add a chart title and our chart title should have the what, where and when. So in this case, we would put square rocks, um, sea surface temperature, 2021 to 2022 summer bleaching indicated. So easy thing to do, square rocks weather station 2021 to 2022. So we've got the where is it and when is it and it is the summer bleaching indicator. So we've got the what. Now the order is like that um, you could put summer bleaching indicator square rocks weather station 2021-22 the order it doesn't really matter as long as you've got all three of those and it makes sense so in terms of presenting our data that is all that we need to do and then all we have to do from there is interpret the data so remember we said if the threshold days are above the actual days we've got a relatively healthy uh, reef and we can see here that the threshold days in all instances throughout that summer period was above the number of days at those temperatures so it meant that there was no bleaching at square rocks during that time all right there will be a lot more questions and a lot more practices coming questions that will ask you to interpret the uh, graph and to read the data uh, and to make sure that you can analyze and understand it. All right, best of luck.